Hello, 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 and welcome to your under 15 minute session with me, Asmita. Today we will be covering descriptive paragraphs. So let's get right to it. Now, here are some tips before we get started with some descriptive paragraphs. You should always begin with a given topic and follow a sequential organization. This means that the thoughts that you're expressing need to be organized so that the reader can actually understand what you're trying to say. A lot of times our thoughts are all over the place and sometimes when we reproduce that on paper, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to others, okay? Conclude with a summarized opinion adhering to the word limit. The word limit will be provided to you in the question. Try to stay close to it. Obviously, you don't have to follow it to the T. Thoda sa upar niche ho sakta hai. That's completely fine. Keep the topic in focus and logically highlight key points. So, whatever it is that you're trying to convey, that should always remain in focus. Ko pata na kuch log hote jin ki aadat hote jab wo kahaniya sunate to wo kaha ke kaha paul jate hai. Isko hum kehte hai tangent pe chale jana. Aur wo ek tangent se dousre tangent se tisre pe paul jate hai and then we lose track of kya bol kya rahe the. Point kya tha in sari baato ka. To ye aapke paragraph mein nahi hona chahiye. Aap kahi tangents mein kho mat jana. Stay to the point. And each paragraph should revolve around a single topic for coherence. The topic will be given to you in the question. So this is not very hard to adhere to. Vary sentence construction to prevent monotony. Make sure you're using different types of sentences. And that brings me to the very important point that I want to make about descriptive paragraph in general. When you describe something, you think about how you do it. What do you tell about it? What do you tell about it? How do you tell about it? How do you tell about it? फर्स्ट सेंस हो गई देखने की सेंस कैसा सुनाई देता है अगर आप एम्बियंस को डिस्क्राइब करने की कोशिश करो तो वहाँ पे क्या क्या साउंड्स है ठीक है सो दैट इज योर सेंस ऑफ हियरिंग ओके हाउ व्हाट इट स्मेल्स लाइक इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अगेन एम्बियंस हो फूड हो फूड में ओल्ड फैक्ट्री सेंस काफ़ी काम आती है अगेन टेस्ट ऑल्सो कम्स इन टू प्ले वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग लाइक फूड एंड ऑब्वियसली योर सेंस ऑफ टच so you need to make use of all your five senses to describe whatever it is that you're being asked to describe in the question that will make your paragraph extremely vibrant you can use very nice descriptive adjectives for this adjectives ka point hi hota hai kisi cheez ko describe karna to unka pura full use karna descriptive paragraphs mein another thing that you can use that will make your paragraph lovely is पोएटिक लैंग्वेज लिटरी डिवाइसिस मेटोफर्स सिमिलीज परसोनिफिकेशन जो भी आपके दिमाग में आ जाए अगर वो अप्लाई करता है आपके टॉपिक पर और अगर आप उसको यूज़ करते हो दैन योर राइटिंग विल बिकम ब्यूटिफुल ओके सो देर आर नो ईजी टिप्स और ट्रिक्स टू हाउ टू टेक योर पैराग्राफ फ्रॉम हेयर टू देयर The only way you can do it is through practice and by looking at a lot of different paragraphs. So today we are going to see three different questions and in the end you will attempt one question on your own and see if your writing has improved. I will also highlight the adjectives or the language that's being used in these paragraphs. So you can make a note of that and try to incorporate the same in your own paragraphs. Okay, so... We are going to be following the syllabus as per CBSE. So we're writing a descriptive paragraph in 100-120 words, describing a person, event, situation. You can get a visual cue, you can get a verbal cue also. So let's take a look at some examples. Okay? Now, here we have a question with verbal cues. Your friend and you decided to foster two puppies. What does fostering mean? Fostering means when you take care of someone else's child. Originally, it was used for children to take care of someone else's child for a limited time. We used fostering. Now, we can apply it to pets or animals. Okay? So, fostering means to take care of a pet or an animal for some time. So, your friend and you decided to foster two puppies which you found crying near your house. Share your experience of fostering them, describing the incident with the help of the hints given below and your own ideas. So here you have to incorporate your own ideas also. And some of you might be thinking कि हमारे तो अपने कोई ideas ही नहीं हैं इसके बारे में तो आप imagine करो अपने आप को इस situation में ठीक है हर चीज जरूरी नहीं है जो जिसके बारे में आपको लिखना पड़े वो आपके साथ बीती हो that's not necessary. You can't always write about a lived experience. What you can do is you can build your imagination a little bit more. Try to put yourself in someone else's shoes and imagine कि आप क्या करते अगर आप इस situation में होते तो ठीक है. Now with the help of the hints given also, so hints पढ़ लेते हैं. 
Two puppies left alone trying to cross the busy main road. One with an injury. Bring them home. Follow vet's words. Vet kya hai? Veterinary doctor. The doctor of animals. Make a cozy bed for them. Look like fur balls growing happily and fast. These are your verbal cues. So, what do you get from this? You get a structure for your paragraph. The cues are given, you will know how to start, what is going on in the beach, and what is going on in the end. And you can fill your ideas in the beach in your own ideas. Okay? So, let's take a look at a paragraph here. All right, let's read it out. My friend and I had an unforgettable experience when we decided to foster two helpless puppies we found near our house. In this case, you didn't write puppies. You didn't say foster two puppies. You said helpless puppies. What happens from this? What happens from this? Immediately, the mind will go into the mind of the pity feeling that the little puppies were going to be a child puppies who were going to help them. They were going to be on the road. Using the word helpless word, this image comes from the reader's mind. So, we didn't say puppies, we said helpless puppies. We said you can use some other adjectives. Okay? The sight of these two fur balls. Fur balls is just a way to refer to furry animals, cute furry animals, because they look like little balls of fur. Left alone and attempting to cross a busy main road, tugged at our hearts. Tugged at our hearts. Again, the use of this phrase makes that emotion felt. मतलब जो पढ़ रहा है इसको या जो सुन रहा है इसको, उसको समझ में आएगा कि जिस पे बीती है उस पे क्या बीती उनको देखके, उनके एकदम से दिल भारी हो गया. Tugged at their hearts. One of them had a minor injury, making the decision even more pressing. Pressing क्या है? Urgent, urgent कि आपको अभी decision लेना पड़ेगा, वरना कुछ गड़बड़ हो सकती है, ठीक है? We immediately brought them home, following the vet's advice meticulously. Meticulously मतलब एकदम full precision के साथ. जो जो vet ने बोला एकदम detail में हमने follow किया. We created a warm and cozy bed for them, providing the comfort they desperately needed. Over time, these tiny bundles of energy transformed into lively, healthy pups. Okay? Watching them grow happily and rapidly was incredibly rewarding. When something is rewarding, it means that it's worth the effort because you feel so much happiness after doing it. Okay? Our fostering journey not only ensured their well-being but also brought immense joy and companionship into our lives, strengthening the bond between us and these adorable pups. Okay? So you just followed the structure that was given in the hints, added a little bit of your own masala, tried to use nice adjectives here and there and use descriptive language so that the reader can clearly imagine what is going on in the minds of the author or the writer. Okay? This is what you need to follow for a descriptive paragraph. Let's look at one more example. Here you have a full fact file about a place. You happen to visit Bhallar in the foothills of Kumao. You collected details about this place. Write a descriptive paragraph on the basis of the following inputs in 100 to 150 words. Your inputs are kya? Nearest airport, Delhi, nearest railway station, Katkodam. Tickets are always in demand and need to be booked well in advance. By road, it tells you the way from Delhi, NH24 to Moradabad and Rampur and NH87 to Katkodam via Bhimtal to Ramgarh and from there to Natua Khan via Talla, Ramgarh. So, it just gives you a lot of information about how you can reach there, Bhallad, by road from New Delhi. Then, you, the facilities there, tourist attractions abound in several places. You have Nainital, Bhimtal, Sattal, Ramgarh, Almora. A few homestay options are available and need to be identified. Attractions, natural beauties witnessed in its abundance, lakes with boating facilities and again the same lakes from Nainital, Bhimtal, Sattar. The Kumau hills are wonderful for trekkers, bird watchers, nature enthusiasts and unspoiled hill path beckons you. Okay, so this is all the information you need to incorporate in your paragraph. Let's see how we can do that. Okay. Nestled in the serene foothills of Kumau. So the way you started it itself, nestled, aram se wo, it's there, surrounded by the serene foothills of serene, matlab, ekdam calm or peaceful foothills of Kumau. Bhallar is a hidden treasure. 
okay such a nice sentence construction to start talking about the place so the reader is matlab ekdam se from the beginning only intrigued very interested to know more about ballad to reach this tranquil village again tranquil is a synonym of serene one can fly to new delhi and then embark on a picturesque road trip picturesque matlab beautiful road trip something that matlab ekdam hi old fashion sa किसी और दुनिया में लेके जाने वाला द नियरेस्ट रेलवे स्टेशन कार्ड को नाम डिमांड एडवांस बुकिंग ड्यू टू हाई डिमांड दिस वॉज गिवन टू अस इन द फैक्ट फाइल बलाट सॉज इज अ गेट वे टू नियर बाय टूरिस्ट हॉट स्पॉट्स लाइक नैनीताल भीमताल सत्ताल रामगढ़ नलमोरा द रीजन बोस्ट अबंडेंट नेचुरल ब्यूटी विथ प्रिस्टीन एकदम साफ लेक सच इज नैनीताल भीमताल एंड सत्ताल अगेन ऑफरिंग ट्रैंकुअल बोटिंग एक्सपीरियंसिस एडवेंचर थूजिस कैन एक्सप्लोर द कुमा हिल्स विच इज फुल ऑफ हिल पार्थ एंड परफेक्ट फॉर ट्रैकर्स बर्ड वॉचर्स एंड नेचर हॉवर्स सो सो मच ऑफ दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑलरेडी गिवन टू यू यू जस्ट हैव टू मेक श्यू यू राइट इट डाउन इन अ नाइस नीट सेंटेंस charming homestay so we've used the adjective charming to describe the homestay options are available in bhalar offering an authentic taste of local culture in conclusion bhalar is a beautiful place surrounded by breathtaking landscapes and easy access to neighboring destinations it promises an unforgettable journey into nature's embrace okay so and uh, underline so many adjectives that were used to make this paragraph even more descriptive okay all right now let's look at our third kind of question isme hame ek visual cue mila hai i know it's a little difficult to decipher type of a photo so this is what you see from your bedroom window and you can see the way the city has changed in the past 5 years okay now is this change positive or negative that's entirely up to you what you interpret from looking at the image okay सो so, इसमें आप इमेज में देख के ये भी बोल सकते हो कि कितना भीड़ हो गया है सिटी में कितना पोल्यूशन हो गया है सिटी में फैक्ट्रीज की वजह से इट्स नॉट द सेम एज इट यूज टू बी इट्स चेंज फॉर द वर्स तो उसमें आप नेगेटिव अप्रोच ले रहे हो या आप इसको एज अ पॉजिटिव अप्रोच भी ले सकते हो कितनी डेवलपमेंट हो गई है कितने और लोग आ गए हैं कितनी बसलिंग हो गई है ये सिटी दैट इज अ पॉजिटिव अप्रोच सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक at an example and then you'll figure out from the paragraph only ki positive approach liya gaya hai ki negative approach okay as i gaze now see question mein look likha hota as i look out of my bedroom window lekin aapne usko acha word leke aur a beautiful bana diya sentence ko instead of saying as i look out of my bedroom window you're saying as i gaze out of my bedroom window i am struck struck by the dramatic transformation that has swept through our city over the past 5 years so isko aap bahut hi boring tarike se bhi bol sakte hai as i look out my bedroom window i see that my city has changed a lot in the past 5 years such a boring way to say it question mein bhi to waisi likha hai par humne usko acche acche words use karke kitne acche tarike se convey kiya okay now the once familiar skyline now stands with many skyscrapers the bustling streets bustling is a great word to describe you know cities busy market streets matlab it's full of activity wahan pe log bhi hai bahut sari cheeze bhi ho rahi hai bahut it's full of activity so the bustling streets below have become even more animated excuse me with a constant flow of cars buses and pedestrians the city's heart beat okay so हैव बिकम इवन मोर एनिमेटेड का मतलब क्या होता है एनिमेटेड मतलब उसमें और भी जान आ गई है ठीक है विद अ कॉन्स्टेंट फ्लो ऑफ कार्स इंस्टेड ऑफ सेंग कि वहाँ पे यू नो देर मेनी देर आर मेनी कार्स बसेज एंड पेडेस्ट्रियंस एट पास बाय यू सी देर इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट फ्लो ऑफ कार्स बसेज एंड पेडेस्ट्रियंस द सिटीज हार्ट पीट एक्ोस थ्रू द कॉन्स्टेंट हम ऑफ एक्टिविटी हम मतलब साउंड अ टेस्टिमेंट टू इट्स एवर इवॉल्विंग नेचर टेस्टिमेंट ever evolving nature what is a testament a testament is like a proof that something exists or something was done so as proof that the city has an ever evolving nature you can see the constant flow of cars buses pedestrians the heartbeat echoing through the hum of the streets all of this serves as a sort of a proof that the city is ever evolving so that is a testament okay it's a mesmerizing blend mesmerizing blend of progress progress matlab aage badhna and 
nostalgia. Nostalgia means looking fondly or in a bittersweet way at the past. Okay? So, progress bhi hai, par usme nostalgia bhi hai. Past ki bhi kuch cheeze abhi tak baaki hai. A few old cities stand tall, witness to the ever-changing landscape of the city. A few old buildings, actually I think this should be a few old buildings stand tall, witness to the ever-changing landscape of the city. Okay? All right. Now that brings us to the end of our session today. But here's a question for you to do. At your own time, make sure you leave the descriptive paragraph in the comments. I will definitely go through them and give a shout out to the one that I think is the best. So make sure you put in some effort. Try to uh, find better adjectives, you know, go to a thesaurus or a dictionary. Try to find better words, better way of phrasing, whatever you're phrasing. Just work on your own paragraph. Make it as defined and nice as possible and then post it. And then I'll take a look at it. Now is your time to be able to do all this. Exam mein aap ye sab nahi kar sakte. So make sure you practice. The prompt is given to you on your screen. These are your hints. Alright. And remember to like the videos if they're helping you. And subscribe to the channel. Take very good care of yourselves. I will see you next.